a fun new little product to try out and I'm obsessed. So I thought I would share it with you guys today, kind of explain how it works, and then we would do a little experiment and a little test and I can kind of prove to you that it, it actually is better. So I got the Kai Scissors Serrated Scissor Gift Set. Is that upside down? Sorry. <laughs> The Kai Scissors Serrated Gift Set. And so you get these three pairs of scissors with it. Um, an eight inch, a six inch, and a four and a half inch. And here they are here, like so. And they come with these little covers on them as well, which is really nice. So I've been using this one a lot lately, especially now, when I'm working on so many lightweight, drapey, like summery type of fabrics, like all the rayons that I have in my um, work in progress and plans piles. So if you think about serrated scissors, similarly to how you think of serrated knives in your kitchen, then you probably can already guess a little bit how it works. So on these scissors, I mean, you can't see. I can see with the naked eye. I don't know that my camera is gonna pick it up, but there are a ton of itty bitty little teeny tiny teeth all along both uh, blades of the scissors. And that works to grip the fabric as it's cutting along so that the fabric doesn't slip away slightly so that you can get a really accurate cut along your pattern pieces and also the edges are nice and smooth if you think about like when you go to cut bread i think bread's a more common thing that you use a serrated knife for it is so delicate on the inside. And if you don't have those serrated teeth to help you slice through the bread, then it just gets smushed. And it's a little bit like that with fabric, but instead of it getting smushed, it just gets kind of pushed, uh, pushed forward, pushed out. And that's what produces the jaggedy edges and also the inaccurate cut around your uh, uh, pattern piece. So. Let's get to the cutting table where I can show you um, how this works up against a pair of also Kai, but just dress making shears and then a pair of really old, really inexpensive, um, like one of the first pairs of scissors I've ever, I ever had. And I'll show you how those three compare to each other cutting the same pattern piece out. Okay, so I've got my new serrated edge scissors. I've got a very inexpensive pair, probably one of the first pairs I ever bought, and I've got Kai's um, dressmaking shears that are really nice shears, but they are not serrated. And already you can tell when you're scissoring them together, these are very smooth. Can you hear that? And these are not. Maybe it sounds the same to you, I don't know, but it feels very different. You can feel like the teeth and the grooves of this um, working. So I wanted to show you with this pattern piece that has a little bit of a curve to it, um, the, how these scissors are gonna perform um, against each other on a lightweight drapey fabric like this, um, crinkle rayon that I got from Joanne. And if you're paying attention, yes, this is black. So that might be a bit of a spoiler as to what decision I ended up making regarding my jumpsuit. <laughs> so I hope you're not too disappointed about that. <laughs> okay, we're ignoring grain lines and all that. I just wanna show you how this stuff cuts. So I'm gonna use my pattern weight. I thought I needed to, but that one will be enough. Okay, let's start with the cheaper pair of scissors and see how that does on the crinkle rayon. Okay, there we have that cut out and here are our results. So you can see along this edge here how it's really choppy and not smooth at all. And that's because 
um, even though you probably couldn't see it, what's happening is the fabric is slipping forward. As you cut down the fabric, it's slipping ahead of itself a little bit. And so that's why you get these little chunks cut out of it. So we'll put this aside and we'll use that for a full comparison here in a second. Okay, now let's use the nice scissors, um, but that are not serrated, the dressmaking shears. Okay, and as you can see, this one performed a little bit better, but there still are areas where it's like choppy and um, kind of uneven, but honestly, not too, too bad, right? Okay, and finally, let's see how the serrated scissors perform in our little test that we're doing. Okay, and here are the results from our serrated scissors. So as you can see, a lot less choppy, a lot more even, and as I was sewing it, um, before I pulled the paper away, you could tell it was a lot more accurate of a representation of the pattern piece itself. There wasn't too much hanging off of any one cut edge. So here are our three, let me make sure you can see all these. We've got serrated, we've got dressmaking, and we've got the inexpensive scissors here. So even without, you know, being an expert scissor user, you can tell the differences here. Obviously this one is super, super choppy, jagged edges, and um, it is not exactly the same um, as the pattern piece. This one, although smoother, does still have some jaggedy points, right? And down here, it's a little bit wider in width than the pattern piece was itself. And then this one is obviously the smoothest and the most accurate to what the pattern piece looks like itself. So here is our experiment. All right, so we can see sort of the differences there. I mean, there's not too, too much of a difference between the really nice dressmaking shears and the serrated shears. But what I can tell you is that the feeling you have when you're cutting with the serrated shears on a lightweight drapey fabric like that feels completely different than when you're using the dressmaking shears. And these are less expensive than those. So these are not scissors I think that you want to cut everything with. Uh, I think they should be relegated for, you know, rayon chalet, um, for maybe like cotton voile and like really like cottons, but anything other, anything heavier than those types of fabrics, you need to just use your rotary blade or your um, regular dress making shears on those. But I think they're really great. I really love them. Um, I think that they are going to be a great addition to my sewing room. In addition to using them to cut out lightweight drapey fabrics, I've also been using them, I mean, really efficiently on the same fabrics, but on like necklines when I need to like grade that seam down or reduce the seam allowances, or even putting notches in them, you can really tell a difference in the serrated uh, shears in an example like that because, you know, you need them to grip the fabric and hold on to it and not slip and slide. If it slips and slides, you're gonna be cutting into, like past the seam allowance, which you don't want. So I found it to be immensely um, helpful in, you know, cutting down seam allowances and um, putting the little notches into those as well. So hopefully you guys will be able to go try these out. Um, Kai has a coupon code for all of you guys to use. I will have that in the description box. Here's how you access the description box. 
In addition to all the links of everything that I mention in the videos, it also includes every single video what I'm wearing. So I get that question more than any other question and it's always, always, always in the description box. So please, please, please check the description box. Um, if you have a question that's not answered there, by all means, ask me whatever question you want, but you can get an answer really quickly on things like products, coupon codes, what I'm wearing, links to places, all of those kind of basic things. You can find that in the description box in every single video. So let me know what you guys thought of our little experiment. Let me know if you're going to try out the Kai scissors or if you already have serrated scissors in your collection. Let everybody know what you think about them and how they work and if you use them and if they're helpful and you know, just spread the word about serrated scissors. <laughs> Cause we do random things like that over here in our little corner of the internet. Um, but yeah, so thank y'all so much for watching. That's going to do it for me today and I will see you all very soon. Bye.